Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to make the blood type foldable. So the first thing you do is you fold your paper hot dog. All right, and then we're gonna make the fold lines. So you're gonna fold it in half and then in half again. And these are just for the fold lines so you know, so you can cut evenly. Okay, so open it back up. And now you have a foldable that has these folds on it. Obviously, that's why it's called a foldable. So now we're gonna cut on these lines or these fold marks. We're not gonna cut all the way through, just um, on the top. If you cut all the way through, you're gonna have four separate pieces of paper. Um, so what we're gonna put on the top, since there's four flaps and there's four blood types, um, actually, like we talked about, there's eight, but there's four letters, so we're gonna put those on the top. So we'll put A, B, A, B, and O. And then plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Now this tutorial is not uh, to take place of the uh, blood type lesson that we went over in class today. Uh, if you missed that, if you were absent, make sure that you come in during E time so I can explain that to you individually. Okay, so under this first flap, on the top, I want you to write RH factor. And remember that RH stands for rhesus. That's a rhesus monkey that it was first um, found in. It's either positive or negative, and it is a protein, okay? Under the second flap, I want you to write the sentence that I told you to write in your notebook. That's very important when you're determining uh, who can donate to who. So you can't get what you don't already have. And you, I always want you to think about this sentence when determining uh, who can donate to who if I ask you those kinds of questions. Okay, then up here I want you to write O negative universal donor. That means they can give to everyone, to all. All right, A, B positive is the universal receiver and they can take all. So if there was an ideal blood type, it would be AB positive because you can take from uh, all blood types. And on this last one is a diagram that just shows you who can give to who. So O can give to A and O can give to B and O can give to AB, A can give to AB, and B can give to AB. So that's the diagram that I want you to put there. Notice no arrows are going from AB to anything. I guess you could do like AB to itself, A to itself, B to itself, and O to itself. But notice no arrows are going to O either, except O, because um, B, A, B, and O all have antigens that O can't handle. Okay, so what we're going to do on the bottom, so here we have A positive or A, so we're going to draw what the blood cell, the, the visual representation of a blood cell. Remember, if you were to look under a microscope at a red blood cell, it would not look like this. This is just for our purposes. And then you're going to write, this has A, antigens and B antibodies and what that means is it has markers remember antigen means marker so it has markers for type A blood and it has B antibodies if it gets type B blood it'll kill it then we will draw B notice so see B and remember the picture on the board had triangles. So if this has B antigens or markers, A antibodies. So it has 
B markers, meaning it identifies itself as B, and if it gets A blood, it'll fight it off, because remember, an antibody is something that fights off something. Then we have AB, that's next. And remember, AB has both A and B antigens on it, so we'll have circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. Now, I guess you could do anything. You could do stars and squares or whatever. It doesn't matter, as long as they're different. So, AB blood has A and B antigens, or A and B markers on it. No antibodies. Because if you don't consider the, the, res the rhesus or the RH factor, then it can take all blood types. Again, don't count the plus and the minus on this one. Now we have O. O just looks like a little kid drew a sun because it has no antigens, no markers. So it has no markers, but it has A and B antibodies. So if it gets A or B blood, it'll kill it, which is a bad thing, remember? So if you missed this lesson, I suggest uh, you come in during enrichment so I can explain it to you. Uh, it sounds a little bit like a word puzzle sometimes when it's can O give to A, can A give to O, and don't forget the plus and the minus. Once you get it, I promise you it's going to come very easy. But the best thing to remember is this quote. You can't get what you don't already have. So circles and squares, they can't give to each other. A can't give to B, B can't give to A. But B can give to AB because it has the triangles on there. A can give to AB because it has the circles. And then O can give to all of these because it doesn't have anything on the end of those spokes, no antigens. What you need to remember is there's no difference in the quality of the blood. AB blood isn't any better than A blood or O blood or B blood. It's just the markers that determine what kind of blood you can get if you need it. So you need to remember that even though O is, doesn't have any markers and it can donate to AB, doesn't mean it's not giving it all that it needs, okay? So again, make sure you come in for tutoring if you have any questions. Uh, and if you're struggling at all on the blood types, I suggest you make this foldable. So whoop, hopefully you found it helpful.